In this tutorial, we will create a particle logo reveal animation inside of After Effects using Trapco Particular Plugin. Let's kick things off with creating a new composition, and this one's going to be logo. Then drag the logo to the timeline, press S, and adjust the scale if needed. Then create a new composition, name this one logo underscore alpha, and drag the logo comp we've just created into here. Make sure it is not selected, then go to the shape tool and select the ellipse tool. Make sure it has fill set to a solid color, and doesn't need to have stroke. Then create an ellipse from the center, holding Ctrl and Shift at the same time to get the proportional size. Then go to effects and presets and search for turbulent displace. And now this to the shape layer. Set size to 80 and complexity to 10. Then press S on the keyboard to bring up a scale, create a keyframe at the beginning, and set the value to 0%. Then go forward 4 seconds or however long you want the animation to be. I'm going to 4 seconds and increase the value until the shape layer covers the logo entirely. So let's set it to 100%, that should be fine. Then click on toggle switch mode until you see the track mat column appear and set logo's track mat to alpha mat. That'll give us a simple logo reveal. Let's now right click the shape layer and select pre-compose. I'm going to name it shape. We're going to create quite a few compositions here so I suggest you stay organized and name stuff accordingly. Let's go back to the project window and create a new composition. Name this one logo underscore stripe. Or you can use a different name, I'm just used to using the stripe. Click OK and drag the logo alpha comp into here twice. We need to offset the bottom logo alpha layer 5 frames back, so the easiest way to do that would be to go 5 frames forward from the beginning, pressing page down 5 times, align the top logo alpha to the blue playhead, then select both layers, and drag them to the beginning, and set the track map of logo alpha to alpha inverted mat, and this will give us sort of a stripe as I like to call it. But if we move past it, we can see the weird outline that we don't want to see. For that, let's search for a simple choker and add this to the top logo alpha layer and set amount to minus two and that will get rid of the weird outline. Let's go back to the project window once again and create a new composition, name this one emitter, then drag the logo stripe into here and also the shape composition above it. Then move the shape layer 10 frames forward, so hold your shift and press page down once to move 10 frames forward and align the shape layer to the blue playhead. Then select the track map of the logo stripe to alpha inverted map. This is done so that the particles stop emitting after some time. Otherwise, you'll have constantly emitting particles and you don't want to see that. Let's create another composition and name this one particles. Drag the emitter composition here, then click on toggle switch mode until you see this column and make it 3D by checking this box and also hide the visibility of it. Then right click new solid, I'm going to name it particles. Then go to effects and presets and search for particular and add this to the particle solid layer. Let's head over to the effect controls, open emitter, first let's set particles per second to 500,000. Open emitter type, let's set it to layer. Let's set velocity to 0 and emitter size Z to 50. Let's open emitter, drop down and select layer as emitter. Have these settings up and then let's close the emitter tab and go to the particle section. Let's set light to 2 seconds, feather to 0, size random to 100. I'm going to move a bit forward in the timeline to better see the actions we're taking. That is done for the particle section, let's go to the shading and enable shadow for main and aux both to on. And let's go to the physics, open air, turbulence field and set effect position to 50. And that is it for the physics section, I'm going to close it up and go to the aux system. Let's set emit to continuously, then set particles velocity to 25. Feather to 0 and opacity to 100. Then open that physics drop down and set turbulence position to 300. Also, let's set color from main to 100 to get the same colors as our main logo. And we've done creating the main particles. Let's add a couple more effects to it. Let's search for CC vector blur in effects and presets. Add this to the particles layer. Let's set type to perpendicular and amount to 15. Then let's search for sharpen in effects and presets. Again, add this to the particles layer and set it amount to 100. That's how the particles are looking at the moment. Let's let the particles there go to edit, duplicate, or you can press Ctrl D as a shortcut. And let's rename the duplicated particles to small, small for the smaller particles. Select the small particles layer, go to effect controls, press Ctrl A to select all the effects and then press delete to delete them. Then again, search for particularly in effects and presets, add this to the small solid layer. Open the emitter drop down, set particle per second to 100,000 emitter type to layer, velocity to 0, and emitter size Z to 50. Then open layer emitter, and select emitter as the layer. Let's go to the particle section, set life to 1 second, feather to 0, size to 4, 
Let's go to shading, set shadow light for main to on. Let's go to physics, go to air, turbulence field, and set effect position to 1000. This way we'll have smaller particles flying on the outer edge of our logo animation, which looks really cool in my opinion. Let's do a quick preview of the particles. Once you're happy with the look of the particles, let's go back to the project window and create a new composition, name this one main or final, then drag the particles uh, composition into here. Also drag the logo alpha below it so we get the actual logo reveal. Let's create a background by right click new solid, go into color BG and place it below other layers, then go to effects and presets and search for ramp, add gradient ramp to the BG layer. I'm going to click on swap colors and for the black the end color I'm going to select the gray color and click OK. Also I'm going to set ramp scatter to 50 to avoid the amount of color bandings. I'm also going to add drop shadow because we don't have a separation between the background and the logo. Search for drop shadow in effects and presets, add this to the particles, set the opacity to 75%, distance to 0 and softness to 100. Let's add the same drop shadow to the logo alpha itself. So let's select the drop shadow, press Ctrl C, select the logo alpha and press Ctrl V to paste it. Let's add some finalizing effects to the animation. Let's right click new adjustment layer. I'm going to name this one effects. I go to effects and presets, search for transform. Add this to the effects adjustment layer. Also search for camera lens blur and add it to the adjustment layer. Then go to the beginning of the timeline and create a keyframe for uh, transforms scale. And also blur radius for camera lens blur. Make sure to check repeat edge pixels. Then press U to see the keyframes on the timeline. Set blur radius to 20 and scale to 300. Then move half a second forward, that would be 15 frames for me. Set blur radius to 0. Then go all the way to the end of the animation, so that would be 4 seconds for me. I'm going to go to 4 seconds and set scale amount to 100. Then select all the keyframes, right click on any of them, keyframe assistant, easy ease, now you can press F9 as a shortcut. And just like this, we've been able to create an awesome particle logo reveal animation inside of After Effects using Trapcode particular plugin. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, please give this video a like. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.